Alright, hey guys, Justin here. I'm in Mount Lolly right now, but not the Mount Lolly of the trains, it's the Mount Lolly of 950 right back there. So, first time ever actually getting off here at Mount Lolly and uh, randomly looking on uh, Google Maps and I found out a little bee over here on a Thailand Thai restaurant. Let's try it out. Alright, so just ordered and uh, ordered quite a lot actually. Actually, just two dish, two plates, but hopefully I can finish them all because uh, I have breakfast like two hours ago. So that's why I just tried us to finish everything. We all, I ordered a shrimp and crab net spring roll and uh, a soft shell, soft shell crab pad thai. So let's see how this goes. The soft shell crab pad thai is actually their special. So that's why let's see whether it's good or not. Here's our spring rolls. Actually, surprisingly, luckily, it's actually pretty small. So this is actually like a fancy restaurant kind of feel. Actually, over here, eight dollars ninety cents, not cheap. So let's see how it goes. We have shrimp and crab inside. So let's dig in. This is the sauce I like the most. The chicken sauce that I call in Hong Kong, Kai Cheng. That's a Thai sweet and sweet and spicy sauce, which I really enjoy. But first, we'll eat it as it is. The flavor is good, very good, but I don't really actually taste the shrimp or crab inside. Get some sauce on it. The taste is there, very flavorful. I really like spring rolls because the, the flavor is very nice, but is it shrimp and crab spring rolls? I don't really feel like there's shrimp and crab inside though. Last bite. Now, well, by the end, I can actually feel like the crab texture is inside, but mostly it's like mushrooms and some meat. But overall, it's delicious, but just not really too much crab and shrimp. And here's our shop show crab pad thai. I was blown away since it comes over. See how many shop show crab there are? Holy shit, this is the amount of shop show crab right here, and the pad thai's over there. Holy crap! Wow. Get the lemon. On our soft shell crab and pad thai. Remove the uh, cilantro, I don't like it. And I uh, get a little mix on the pad thai. Uh, little, little wet. I prefer a little bit drier. Let's try the pad thai first. Mm. Good flavors, very good. Because this is actually a restaurant opened by Thai people, so that's why the flavor is there. Inside they have um, tofu, bean curd. and um, onions and my favorite bean sprouts bean sprouts actually one of my favorite things to eat back in Hong Kong but here buying bean sprouts is so expensive so in Hong Kong you can buy like one kilogram for like five dollars so that's like five Hong Kong dollars okay if you go back to Australian dollars like less than one dollar like 90 cents for like one kilogram so
This thing's way too huge. No wonder they call it special. Look at the mustard inside this guy. Soft shell crabs still have mustard. Oh my gosh. Mm. Wow. If you like to eat the mustard of the crab, oh, this is perfect. Actually, I'm not that. I'm not. I'm not really in, I don't really enjoy the mustard of the crab because I think that the flavor is way too strong. But wow, I like it when it's like this though. Mm. Last bite. A little too many, so that's why I so I gotta pack some of them away. But but overall speaking, four out of five. That's definitely for this restaurant. This is really decent. Flavor is very Thai. Like, not really 100%, maybe like 95% Thai flavors. I have been to Thailand once. And uh, I don't really remember how, uh, how the food are there. But here, but uh, the Thai food that I have eaten in Hong, in Hong Kong that I have grown up eating. Very similar to this one, so I was going to give it a high rating. So definitely 4.5, 4 out of 5 for this restaurant. This very direct transit for 950, since you get off, just the restaurant is right there. That's why it's not too hard to get to, especially 950. <laughs> especially 950, 10 minutes per bus every day, so that's why very good. But the thing is, if you can, try to avoid coming over at Sundays, because Sundays they do have surcharge, what, a 10% surcharge, so. But um, little B, great. Hope you guys enjoyed this one. Now, see you guys next time. Remember to like and subscribe. Check out the links in the description down below for my other channels and my Instagram. Click on these videos up top. And I'll see you guys next time. Peace.